Hello my loves, welcome to a brand new vlog and welcome to a brand new day. I've already hair oiled, I already did my new face. So if you see like specks of green on my forehead, I'm just letting the Peter Thomas Roth mask that I use with my new face sit for 10 minutes. I woke up super early this morning. I woke up a little bit before six to do my beauty treatments. I'm now just sitting in peace, drinking my coffee. And I have so much to do today. Aside from work, I have to run a lot of errands. I need to go to ShopRite, do some grocery shopping, which is like my least favorite thing. Is it your least favorite thing? I know some people love it. I absolutely hate grocery shopping. Mike informed me we ran out of coffee filters today. I cannot wake up tomorrow morning knowing that there is no coffee to be had. For me. I also ordered myself a new handbag, which I'm hoping comes today so that we can fit it in this vlog. I don't know if I'll unbox it today because honestly, I want to look cute for the unboxing. I don't want to look like this. I don't know. I don't mind looking like this. Like this is what I look like, which is why I film these things because I try to just, you know, normalize being a normal person. But I want to look cute for my new bag, kind of like welcoming her to the family. If you miss my handbag collection, I also need to do a lot of editing today, but that video will have already been up. So I'll link it up here. I was feeling really great, loving myself, very proud of myself. And that's not to say that I don't feel proud of myself still. I just feel like really like tired this week and I feel very self-critical. If you watched my health vlog that I did, I mentioned that the days I go to work and don't work out before work, I come home and I do the elliptical and I'll watch YouTube videos. And I love the YouTubers that I watch. You all know I'm a big fan of Tati, but in terms of like vloggers, I love Tamara. I love Victoria McGrath, Freya Killen. I think that's her last name. This week, being that I was tired, I didn't wake up early. So I wasn't working out in the morning. I was kind of going straight to work. And one, I think that that just doesn't put me in the right mindset for the day. I think waking up, working out, and then going to work, I'm like more excited for the day. I'm more invigorated for the day. So I'll come home and I'll do the elliptical because I'm doing this thing where I work out every day for at least 30 minutes, you know, just for like my mental health. And I'll watch these vlogs. These women's vlogs look very different than my vlogs. Like, I don't think they look like this for a second. And when they do look like this, like when they're like, oh, it's the morning, here's my coffee. Like their hair is done. They just look so beautiful and put together and professional. It's making me feel bad about myself. They just made such a profession out of their online presence. And like, I'm just feeling a little down and out on myself. I mean, I'm still really proud of myself. And I, I don't wanna talk about this too much because I definitely wanna save it for another vlog, but I'm Try to remind myself this and I don't want to get upset but my dad passed away in January. I left my job that I was at for over seven years to get this new opportunity that I'm so grateful to have. I've been on this health journey since June first. I've always been the kind of person where when I'm going through hard times I what's that song that might send me the chain smoker song self-destruction like that is literally or that was literally me i would just drink my pain away you know just i would be intoxicated i would not take care of myself i would just be like you know like you know f it like life is short let's just have a good time i'm shocked and i'm proud of myself that i have not entered into that self-destruction mode since my dad passed so i am really proud of myself i don't know i'm just feeling very self-critical i'm feeling like i'm not doing enough and i'm feeling like you know i've been on youtube for quite a few years now i am a makeup artist and i'm not really like capitalizing on any of this i'm not making any money from this and i don't do this for the money i do this because i enjoy it but i want to be able to do this more. So I think I need to start having more of like a business mindset rather than just a creative mindset. I don't love sitting here looking like this, but I sit here and I look like this because this is what I look like. And this is like, this is the time where I'm in deep thought when I have a cup of coffee, when I feel like, you know, I just feel like drinking my coffee in the morning. It's like my hopes and my dreams I can attain them because I have a cup of coffee. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just wanted to have a chat. Let me know, do you like these chats? Do you hate them? 
them. I enjoy them. So to be honest, I'll probably continue to do them because I love you guys so much, but this channel, I hope that you don't take this the wrong way. It's really for me. I feel fulfilled on my YouTube channel, even if I'm not making money, even if this isn't my full-time job, even if I literally get nothing out of this. I can't say that I don't get anything out of it because I love each and every one of you and I appreciate every single view that I get. I appreciate every single comment, every single subscriber that I get. Like, I love you, but I also love me too. And I feel like that's missing in a lot of people's lives. And here I am going off on a tangent. I feel like sometimes people view me or I'm misinterpreted as being selfish. And I really hope that you don't take the last statement that I said as being selfish. Like I genuinely appreciate each and every one of you. I want to be able to do this more and I love interacting with you guys and just having this little community online. I've always been someone where I put my happiness first, do the things that I enjoy every day, whether that's going for a walk, whether that's working out, eating healthy. I make sure that I make the time to do these things. That's not to say that I value myself over other people, but my happiness means a lot because if I'm not happy, hi, sir. Hi, because if I'm not happy and I'm not healthy, then I can't be my best self, right? Do you agree? I have a lot of love in my heart, but I also have a lot of love in my heart for me. And I'm just wondering if any of you guys can relate to that because oftentimes I do get labeled as, you know, selfish and I don't feel like I'm that way. I always try to inspire others to be the best versions of themselves. Like I'm not about perfection, clearly, but you know, if I could be a little bit better today than I was yesterday in terms of my mental health, my efficiency, my health in general, like I'm all about that. I love creating these videos. I've always been a very creative person and being that my full-time job is not in a creative field, this is such an outlet for me. And yeah, I hope you didn't take offense to that. But let's go work out. We're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna be healthy. We're gonna do healthy. I really wanna like organize my life and I wanna figure out what the hell I'm doing with this little corner because I told you guys I was gonna get a shelf, but my issue is that I really need somewhere to put my handbags because a girl's got a lot of handbags. But this is the only area in here where I would put a shelf and I don't love that there's a window hitting where the shelf would be because I love my handbags and I don't want them to get discolored in the sun. I just feel like they're safest in my closet because there's not a lot of sunlight in there. I don't know, it's a dilemma. But it's not a big dilemma because there are way worse problems in life than figuring out where to put my excessive handbag collection. I'm very blessed. I'm just still trying to figure that out. <sighs> laugh at myself because I say I want to look cuter on my vlogs. We all know that's not gonna happen. I read a quote the other day that was like the crazier a woman looks when she goes to bed the better she looks throughout life. So I'm gonna tell my husband that quote because my god I look a little crazy. We'll talk about the hair in a second but you know what else do I talk about other than sitting here and doing beauty things but I've been recently incorporating retinol into my skincare routine. And when I say recently, I mean that it is, what is today? Today is Thursday. I started on Tuesday. So I'm doing every other night. I have tried this before and it did a really nice job. It worked wonders for my skin. Number seven, advanced retinol 1.5% complex. Love that it's a pump. I feel like when things come in pumps, I enjoy the experience of using them. So I washed my face. I am going to just rehydrate it because I washed my face quite a long time ago. Peach and Lily. It says to use two pumps, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I take two pumps of this. I'm doing this every other night. Retinol is a very potent ingredient and any retinol that I've used, it always says to try every other night and to build up the strength to use it every night. I'm gonna take a little bit more and just put it along my forehead where I have 
some fine lines and I just like to focus it where I have those fine lines. So I recently have kind of changed my skincare routine and I'm gonna like give this a few minutes to dry because it says to let it completely dry before going in with a moisturizer and I have very dry skin so I definitely need a moisturizer. But I've recently incorporated a lot of new things into my skincare routine such as my tape talks, my retinol, and then I bought a forehead mask that I haven't tried yet and I bought it a while ago at Ulta. And I think we're gonna try that together in this vlog. This is my shirt, because I'm so cute. Um, I want pasta and little macaroni noodles. Isn't that cute? I bought this for me forever ago. And I just, I keep watching a bunch of videos on YouTube because I really enjoy watching vlogs myself, which led me to film vlogs myself, but everyone and their mother is doing Lily Silk promotions. And I'm not knocking it, I'm just saying, like I'm watching these women in silk and cashmere tops and just looking fanciful. And then there's me with my, I want pasta on my t-shirt. This t-shirt's really soft though, honestly. Um, I just, you know, there's a time and place for everything and I just, I don't hang out at home in silk. What can I say? Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Omega Rich. I still hate the texture of it, but I love my skin. Like my skin looks so good. I forgot who it was. I think it was on TikTok though. I saw someone do the heatless curls. You guys know I've done this so many times, but tonight for the first time, I did a Velcro roller up here. So I rolled the front of my hair. If you want to see a tutorial, let me know. I kind of just did it spur of the moment because I don't know if it's going to work, but I did the roller in the front portion of my hair. And then instead of using a clip to hold this on top of my head, I looped it through the roller, which someone on TikTok did it. Again, I'll put the info down below. And I saw it and I just thought it was genius because when I do the heatless curls, like the bottom of my hair always looks good, but it looks so flat up top. So I just thought this would be really good at doing the volume. However, I am gonna have to figure out a better way to do this. I don't know what it is. People throw in Velcro rollers and they just stay. They don't stay in my hair. So I had to use hairdresser clips in the back and I kind of do think that it is inevitably going to leave dents in my hair, which I'm not happy about. And I'm using my eye cream, so they'll skin our ex. So we will see. I will obviously show you what my hair looks like in the morning. I'm tired and I need to go upload my handbag video. So I love you, I leave you, and I'll see you in two. I did that thingy in the front with my hair and I feel like it helped it to not be as flat on my head but the curls they're just not curling like I don't my hair looks fine it's not as curly as I had hoped it would be I'm gonna get a hang of it I will obviously keep you in the loop in the scoop as I always do but let me zoom you out so we can unbox my new handbag and I did wash my hands because I don't want grimy makeup on me it smells so good in here like this candle we've had for years and I'm pretty sure I've only burned it twice this time maybe being the third and it smells so freaking good. I just filmed my what's in my travel makeup bag. I'll link it up here if you wanna see it. But I just try to promote my things because I put so much time and effort into this channel and I just wanna make sure that you guys are seeing everything. And if you're not seeing things, then make sure that you're subscribed and that you click the bell button next to it. It looks like a little ringy bell because that will send you a little notification whenever my videos go live. And I know that I don't help because I don't upload on consistent days, but I am uploading twice a week, which claps and snaps to me, okay? Claps and snaps because once is a lot. I don't know how I'm doing twice, but I love that I'm doing twice. So this is the the bag, the bag. This is the box. When I saw this, I was a little, like how small is this bag? Because if you watched my handbag collection video, I've purchased quite a few handbags from Fashion File. If you don't know anything about Fashion File, this video was not sponsored. I've never worked with Fashion File ever, but I would love to work with them. Just because you guys know, I like sustainability. I'd rather buy pre-loved because it's cheaper and it's also better for the environment. I'm excited to give this handbag a second life. When you go on Fashion File, you can read the description of like the state that the bag, the pocketbook, the jewelry, the shoes, they sell an array of things. 
So I'm pretty sure this one said it's new. I've been looking for a brown bag and the other night, and you know what? I love my husband because he enables me to buy things. I dragged his ass to the Short Hills Mall so many times. I can't even tell you how many times I dragged him to the mall. And we went to so many designer stores and all of them make you wait outside because apparently since COVID, they want one sales associate to customer, to a customer, you know? So bless him, I dragged him to all the stores and none of these stores had brown bags. Yeah, so when I saw this the other night, why do I need these? Oh, and they go everywhere and then Mike curses me. He doesn't actually curse me, but when you get this, it comes with a nail file. I never use it, I always give it to a friend. I'm very excited. If this is not a Fendi duster, I'm gonna be really mad. It's not a Fendi duster. That's the one issue I have with Fashion File. Like it says that it comes with a dust bag. It's not a Fendi dust bag though. It's the Fashion File bag. Unless it's inside. Is it inside? I just, I feel like it makes it such a difference when you're going to resell the bag, like to have the duster and the authenticity. Tip from me to you, if you do go into, no, it doesn't have, it doesn't have the effing. Fendi duster. Okay, I sound bratty, but it's annoying. And I'm gonna reach out to them and I'm gonna tell you right now what they're gonna do. They're gonna offer to give me a credit towards my next bag. And then my impulse is just gonna make me wanna buy another one. And it's just like, no, I'm gonna ask them to put it towards this bag. So this is the stupid duster. I need to just compose myself and get excited. Cause it's just, it puts a bad taste in your mouth when you're about to open the, oh, I love it. It's kind of like a taupe brown though. Oh, it's really pretty and it smells really nice. And it's like the perfect shape. Ah, <laughs> look at this spoiled ass bitch. Here it is, it was on the inside. Why did you do that to me? But I hate this though. Also sustainable, my ass. Like I don't want two dust bags. Just give me the dust bag it belongs in. Okay, I sound really bratty right now, I know. Mike would tell me I sound like a little monster. But this is the bag. It is brown, but I feel like it's kind of like a gray brown. I don't feel like it's like a rich, dark brown. She's cute though. Oh, and then here. Oh my God, look, I forgot this was even on it. That's really cute. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, I like a moon bag. I don't know, I love like a hobo. It's just very like, oh my God, this is so cute. Oh my God, what do we think? Let's look at the inside. So it comes with the zipper up top. Again, it's moon shaped. And then the inside, okay, cool. It comes with the little tag and it's just like canvas inside, which I, I don't mind. It's very roomy. I like her, but I have to say like on the video, it looks much more brown than it looks in real life. It kind of looks like a taupe, like a brownish gray color but oh my God, it's so cute and it would look so cute with my outfit. Mike and I are going out to dinner tonight. I think I might have to wear her. Oh, I love it. I really love it. Oh my God, I love it. I wanna show it to Mike because I don't need my husband's approval. And really this is for me and it's, it's my handbag, but I just want him to tell me that he loves it. Like I want his stamp of approval. Anybody else feel that way? I just, I do before I rip these off, but I feel like he's gonna really like it. Um, oh my God, it's so cute. I really didn't think I was gonna like it this much. But anyway, let me tell you the story. So I went to like a bunch of different uh, designer places. We went to Chanel, we went to Louis Vuitton, we went to Fendi. When we went to Fendi and I looked at some of their bags, they were like three to $4,000. And I was like, absolutely not. Like for a bag that was like this big, it was like four grand. Um, I think it was the baguette, which I think is like their most hyped bag and I love it. That price point to me is a little ridiculous. Yeah, so when I went to Fendi and I spoke to the sales associate, he was so nice, so nice. He literally let me try on like every single bag, but it just, they didn't have a dark brown one that I liked. They had one dark brown one, but it was like dark brown with a mix of like a beigey pink. And I didn't want that. I just wanted something solid brown. So the other night when I was sitting on the couch, I just like casually mentioned it to Mike. I was like, babe, I found a dark brown handbag and I really like it. And he was like, okay, and who is it? Let me see it. And I show it to him and he's like, buy it. 
It's just like buy it. You know, the fall's coming. You were looking for dark brown and this seems to check all the boxes. And you know, I don't own a Fendi bag. This is my first Fendi bag. I think the only Fendi thing I own is earrings, which now you know, you're gonna see them all the time because I, I am that kind of person. This is also the downfall of getting this bag though. Like I love to be matchy matchy. Like that's just my style. I love my handbag to match my shoes. And now that I have a brown handbag, I don't have very many brown shoes. So, oh my God, but this like screams fall. Please people, please, please, please. Let me know what we think down below in the comments. This is adjustable and it's a little misleading though when you buy it because it has straps for a crossbody and for longer straps, but it doesn't come with them. It only has this one strap and it is already on the longest setting and it's not that long. I honestly love it and I feel like I didn't really look like I loved it because I was really mad about the duster, but the duster was remedied and I just mental note to self next time I buy from Fashion Pile because I really love Fashion Pile. I really, really do. Um, the duster might be inside the bag. Oh my God, I love a soft leather though. Like a soft, oh my God, such a vibe, such a vibe. Ha, I love it, I love it, I love it. The reveal, the big reveal. It's really cute. I'm gonna ask a question though. What's your question? When you take that bag and you put it down on something. These are the feet. And it how is- How scratched up are they gonna But get? it's not, it's not like smooth. Look at the bottom, peeling off a little bit. It's like airbrushed. It's like brushed gold. So it looks like not perfect. No? I think you disagree? Scratched the shit out of. Okay, we'll put it on for us. Let me see. Let me see it. Let me see. Not much of a bad wearer. We know, but I want to see it on on someone else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turn to the side. You look sexy. I love a man with a bag. There you go. We don't like this bag with the outfit, so that means we're keeping this bag. Bring it in. We're breaking it in. Do you want to peel one off? No. For the satisfactory of peeling it off. Wait a minute. You would go to dinner with this on I'm, here? I'm saying if it were my bag, I'd probably leave that on forever and never use the bag because I wouldn't want to scratch the bottom. Do you like black and brown together though? Like you don't mind that? Not typically, but You're... today you managed to pull it off really well. Can I ask you a question? What? What color would you say that this is though when you see it? Brown. Okay, it's not like a gray brown. Who's that? Good question. It's not like a gray brown. Top. A brown? It's not a brown. No. I said it's like taupe, no? Yeah, it's like a taupe color. But then in some lights, it's like dark brown. Yeah, I agree. Like it looks brown against the wall. It's sexy and mysterious of you. <laughs> well, in that case, let's rip them off. That didn't really sound that great though. Welcome to the fam bam. I gotta cut the tag off too. Will you cut the tag off for me? It's like a family affair. Once you're in the family. Once you're in the family, we you take know. care of you collectively. There's no getting out of the family. And we're gonna name her too. Skip, snip. Snip. To me. All right, you're making me nervous with the, the... <gasps> oh my God, Just babe. Kidding. Welcome. Just kidding. All right, let's go. All right, I'm ready. I'm feeling it now. my guy sleeping in my dirty laundry. <laughs> Do you know you're in my dirty laundry, sir? You're gonna have to lick yourself a few extra times today. Look how cozy you are. Oh, come say hello. Yes. Hi, boo-boo. Bushy beer. Hi, bushy beer. I wanna do like a cat compilation video. Let me know your thoughts if you would just watch 20 minutes straight of Brokita. Mm.
on a W because I would multiple times. I'm setting the mood in this household, sir. We take our cheese boards very seriously. Let's do it up. Make one of my famous cheese boards in a romantic setting. We have chilled wine from the reserve, which means the basement. If you frequent my vlogs, you know. Basement wine means it's gonna be a good night. I have all of my ShopRite essentials. All right, quick breakdown. Swiss. Lorraine, who's Lorraine? Is that ShopRite brand? Lorraine is the woman that makes the Swiss. Okay, Lorraine Swiss. This questionable one that Mike picked, horseradish and bacon. I don't know about that. This one that I picked and it's delicious. Espresso Bellavitano cheese. Love that. Yum yum. What is this? I don't know what these are. Um, this is pepper salami, hot copa. I don't know. I don't know. A bunch of meats. I'm doing a terrible job. I would be a terrible sommelier. Sommeliers don't talk about meat, so I think you're good. But they do, because they talk about pairings. But this is this bread. And our Somali is gonna pour our wine in our big fancy glasses, our fancy glasses. Say when. Go. When. Ah, oh, sexual. Can you show us the reserve that we picked? From the wine cellar. From the wine cellar. Buena Vista. It is Natalia's selection Chardonnay. Highly recommend visiting. Oh, how nice. Where's the wine? In here. I mean, why did we bring the party in there when we're trying to show the party off? Chin chin. Chin chin. All right, grab the food. Let's go. Mm. Wow, that's delicious. Chloe wants some cheese. Oh, Holy damn. Right now, go. Goodbye. Goodbye. It is so hot out. Look at all the condensation. We had a crazy storm last night, but look at this really cute thing that my sister got me. How cute is this? It has a little cardinal. Can you see the little cardinal bird? Excuse my dirty sink. Look at that. So cute. So every day when I come home, I wash my hands and I always put my rings up here. But now that I have this, I'm gonna put my rings in here so that I can wash my hands and not get them all wet. It's so cute. I love it. Excuse me? What, uh, what would you like? A pet? No, we don't want a pet. What do you want? Bossy. Is this what you want? Is this what you want? Here you go. Good morning. Gabon. My God, you didn't even enjoy them. That's it. That's all you're getting. My cutie pie. I have really done a terrible job at vlogging this weekend, um, but as you can see, I'm in my closet. And if you missed my handbag video, that was a video that inspired the next video that I literally just recorded. So I did a handbag video showing all my handbags in my closet. And then from that video, I had some subscribers ask me to do a jewelry video because I don't know if you've noticed, but I wear a lot of jewelry a lot of the time and a lot of my pieces I don't take off. I just wanted to fill you in on on the makeup that I'm wearing because I did not film this, which I'm very sad that I didn't film this makeup because it's so, so good. But I'm actually wearing that stupid NARS foundation, you know, that little like chody bottle um, that I hate, but it looks really good on my skin today. I don't know if it's just because I'm having a good skin day, if it's because I just applied like the idiot bittiest bit. And then for my lips, I use that weird citizen lip liner that I've mentioned quite a few times, the shade is Char with 
a Maybelline lip gloss and I think it's in what is the shade it's like an orangey shade I love these Maybelline lip glosses I'm definitely gonna do a dupe video I actually started writing down dupes because I have been trying so much affordable makeup lately that is just giving me high-end vibes and they're like a quarter of the price um, but I wanted to show you the can you see my eyelids this is the twinkle shade by Gwen Stefani's makeup brand oh my god guys my brows I always forget how good this brow pencil is but it's the Araceli brow pencil it's the BB brow pencil in I want to say the shades dark brown but it's just such it's like giving like my brows look very not very symmetrical but more symmetrical than usual so I'm just like loving them but anyway it is sunday i just want to like declutter i want to get myself organized because it's going to be a crazy week i have so many like work events this week and then my girlfriend bailey is actually coming to spend the weekend which i'm so excited for um next weekend at the beach house so i have a lot of planning to do i need to go food shopping for that get some good snacks get the house just like prepped and cute and ready for like a girl's weekend with my husband though. I think Mike's gonna make hamburgers for dinner and I definitely wanna drink more of that wine, guys. Oh my God. There's just something about Napa wine that just fills my heart. It's so, so good. But I am very proud of myself that I only had a glass because it was so good last night that I honestly, I could have drank the whole bottle, but you know I'm on a journey to better myself and drinking is not really on that path. I'm literally rating all of my makeup. Um, Yeah, I have made such a mess, but I'm trying to write down dupes because I'm doing a dupes video. I've like literally swatched so many lipsticks. I honestly do this and then I lose track of everything, um, but I've come up with quite a hearty list. I mentioned in one of my videos that I should do a dupes video because I've been playing around with a lot of makeup lately and I'm just finding that like this lip gloss, for instance, from Maybelline, this is the lifter gloss in stone like this is better than all of my lip collagen baths i even dare say that this is better than my nars chelsea girl so yeah i feel very inspired to find cheaper affordable makeup so that we can spend our money elsewhere like on handbags and jewelry because i love makeup and i will forever always want to try makeup but it's like discouraging to want to go and spend so much money when you can literally get other things that are the exact same if not like i feel like 85 percent of the time the drugstore shit is better just discouraging i don't want to spend a lot of money when i can spend less money but i'm starving and i think mike is gonna make us hamburgers for dinner and i want to finish that bottle of wine because We've been doing this thing since we haven't really been drinking a lot. Like we will open a bottle of wine and then let it sit in the fridge or like let it sit out for like ever. And then by the time we go to drink it again, it's not like bad, but it's not as good. So I don't want our reserve wine from Buena Vista. Honestly, we went to Buena Vista not this past April. We went, I think in October of 2022. They had great reds. Like the Chardonnay that we're drinking currently right now is delicious, but honestly, I feel like their reds were one of the best reds that I've tried in Napa. Ugh, I love Napa. I miss it. I really want to go back. I can't wait until April. I feel like that's so far away from now. It's more than six months from now. That's like eight months from now. But I also don't want to rush for it to be my birthday because I feel like the years they are a flying and they are a passing. I just like want to know if you can see like the sparkles on my eyelids. Oh my God. I love, 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 love this product, but it is such a mess. This is Gwen Stefani's I See in Sparkle Multidimensional Eye Pigment in Twinkle. It's so pretty cause it's like, it's gold, but it's kind of taupey. Like it's gold, but it's also like kind of purple. So it's like a very neutral shade. I really like cannot describe it. It's so pretty, but I hate this because like glitter gets everywhere. This is such a terrible package. Before I forgot what this is called, but this stupid foundation that looks so good on me today. Like I don't, what happened? Why is she looking so good? I don't know, but this is in Sheer Glow. I'm in the shade Vienna. And today I applied her, and this is how I applied her. 
for myself, most importantly, I put one pump on here and then I took this fluffy brush. This is a crown brush. I love a lot of crown brushes. Honestly, I picked one up, like I picked a dot up and then I went over here and I really worked it into the brush and then I really worked it into my skin and I didn't even like finish that one dollop of it. It kind of just like marinated in with my skincare. And oh my God, I'm gonna wear this again tomorrow because I just feel like there's some voodoo shit going on. Like I don't, I don't think that it should be this good, but like I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder. What's happening? My face looks literally flawless. I just cleaned my entire vanity. I picked out my outfit for tomorrow. I'm wearing a bright yellow dress just because this is the last week. And I'm gonna be working in the office and I get to work from home the last two weeks of August. So I feel like I need to get the very summer clothes out of the way. So I'm gonna wear a bright yellow dress tomorrow. So this is how I like to spend my Sunday nights. I clean my vanity. I also really like to pack for the next morning. I'm gonna show you guys what's in my poochette because every Sunday I sit here and I kind of curate what I put in my poochette, mainly the lip combo that I'm gonna be wearing that week, what I always keep in here. And honestly, I don't use this too, too much. I almost just dropped it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish and I keep a little poofy inside of her. So this serves as my touch-up powder and also my mirror. I'll take away some of the shine. I mean, it takes away the shine really nicely. I don't know if you could see the difference between that and that. So it takes the shine really nicely. It takes away the shine really nicely. And also it is pigmented. So it does do a little bit of coverage over top. So anywhere where my makeup has disintegrated, I like to add a little bit of this. If I'm going out after work, which honestly I haven't really been doing that much. I put a little bit of this on to take away the shine. I love this scent, Gucci Bloom. I forgot who gave this to me. Oh, it's so good, but it's a nice little roller ball. So I just, you know, touch up. I'll spray the actual spray on me in the morning and then I will touch up with this throughout the day. Aqua 4 SPF 30 because I love SPF and I don't know what it is. I'm very confused. I'm someone that chews the shit out of my lips, but I also want to protect them from anyone but myself. Anything and everything but myself, obviously. I keep a hair tie. Mentos. The fresh maker a little bit of hand cream i love lossy ton their hand cream this one's so nice it's in cherry blossom sometimes like if i'm in a public restroom and i want to like wash my hands and then put lotion on whatever i will throw my rings in here i keep this hairbrush or hair comb i should say just a little one pretty sure i got this at shop right most importantly ooh, most importantly, I keep my air tag. I take this poochette everywhere with me. So I just feel like, God forbid, if anything ever happened, I just leave the air tag in here because this is something that I take from bag to bag to bag. And I honestly never really leave the home except for like if I go on walks or something, never leave the home without this. And then for my lip this week, I don't know why I have two lip liners. This one I've just been keeping in there because it's literally a nub and it's gonna run out. But this is Bobbi Brown, I think, this is number nine nude, very small. I would swatch it honestly, but I ran out of makeup remover wipes and I don't feel like having bruised up looking hands because honestly, every time I sit down for my makeup, I always use the back of my hand, just like warm up products, London lip liner by NYX. But anyway, but in doing that, I oftentimes will go out and look like my hands are bruised or like I was painting, I don't know. And then I love this. I always do this kind of thing. I organize things and I'll keep things on top of my vanity so that I see them and I use them. But I mean, my vanity is such a shit show that I don't see anything, but I put this out to wear it and I thought that I lost it, but this is Lawless in Posey. I've worn this so many times, so I'm not gonna swatch that for you. But that is everything in my poochette. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so, so much. Please be sure to let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in my next vlog that I can like kind of work in. I love you. Thanks so much for joining. And if you're not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would. Bye guys. Mwah.